Hello everyone, this is Eric J with Zyzel here with his how-to video for the Zyzel PK5000Z ADSL wireless router for Quest. In this video, we'll cover how to set up port forwarding for your hosted applications. You can use similar steps if you need to configure a Zyzel Q100 VDSL router for Quest. Certain programs or network devices require forwarded ports on your gateway router to allow things like remote access or remote sessions. This might include things such as remote desktop, certain computer games, file sharing programs, and other applications. To begin, make sure you have a computer connected to your PK5000Z and type the address 192.168.0.1 into your computer's web browser. When the PK5000Z's home menu appears, click on the red Advanced Setup icon. On the left margin menu, in the Security section near the bottom, click on Port Forwarding. Start by entering the Start Port and End Port for your program. Some programs require a range of ports to be open, while others don't. If you only need one port, enter the same number in both fields. In this example, we have an FTP server that uses port 23, but different applications may require different ports. Refer to the documentation from your application or consult your application's vendor for more information. Next, in the Protocol drop-down menu, select either TCP or UDP or GRE. Again, if you're not sure which one your application requires, Refer to the documentation from your application or consult your application's vendor. Now, type in the LAN IP address of the server or device in your local network. You can typically find the IP address of a computer or network device by looking in the DHCP Reservations menu in the IP addressing section near the top of the menu bar, or by looking at the details of the device's network adapter. In this example, our server is at IP address 192.168.0.2. If desired, you can also enter the remote port range and remote IP address to limit the service to specific remote users, but this step is optional and typically not used. These fields can be left blank. When finished, click Apply. The PK5000Z will save your settings and the new port forwarding rule will appear at the bottom of the menu. If you no longer need a port forwarding rule, you can use the Remove button to delete the rule and then click Apply to save your changes. There, now your PK5000Z should be set up to allow your desired traffic from the internet to be forwarded to your server. You can test this to see if it works by asking a friend to connect to your service from his or her house. For more information and how-to videos, head on over to www.youtube.com forward slash Zizel USA.